Oh, do you know? It's gone tits up already. Cardinal Fang! <laughs> Fetch the comfy chair. Yes, that's right. Pull up your comfy chair, grab a coffee, sit down and watch. During the meanwhile... No, no, no. no, no. Well, hello, it's Dexter and me, and here we are back on uh, uh, YouTube uh, with more excitement than you can you can shake you can shake a stick at. Anyway, life as we know is littered with great great rivalries, things like Liverpool versus Everton, United v City, Borg v McEnroe, you know, going back, Prost v Senna, England versus well, just about anyone really. Don't look. Once he's got him there, I tell you, just well to resist the temptation to dump him there. And the latest in this long and illustrious line, well, it's Lightroom versus Capture One, of course. You cannot be serious! Yes, I'm deadly serious. Well, it's certainly well known that the latter does a better job with Fujifilm's X-Trans sensor-produced files, uh, especially when it comes to things like sharpening, you know, without those wormy, wormy artefacts that Lightroom can introduce. But what about people like me who don't sharpen their images? Uh, or who are used in more run-of-the-mill everyday sensors, like the 102 megapixels of the GFX 100? To answer this burning question that's on everybody's lips, I decided to edit a couple of uh, images using both pieces of software. And now you've all seen me edit in Lightroom before, so I won't bear you with that. But look on now in absolute awe and wonderment and stunned silence for the next couple of minutes uh, as I edit an image in uh, Capture One. Now I've sped, uh, I've sped the clip up uh, a little bit to avoid uh, boredom on your part. Uh, but you can obviously play it back if you want at a slower speed to marvel to marvel at my Capture One <laughs> processing skills. You cannot be serious!
Right, with that out of the way, uh, here are my conclusions. Um, firstly, here's the uh, the image I edited in uh, Lightroom and then in, in Capture One. Now, to clarify, I didn't set out to make them both look the same. What I did do uh, was just employ my normal uh, editing workflow to uh, the image uh, in both applications. Uh, and yes, I, I realise I'm probably only scratching at the surface of the capability of both of these programs. Uh, I'm no, you know, Lightroom uh, or Capture One, for that matter, guru, honestly. Now, to my, albeit trained eye at least, uh, I think the image uh, edited in Capture One looks better. It just seems to pop off the screen more. It's more uh, vibrant. It's a brighter image. Uh, details seem to be sharper and crispier, more crisp, uh, but not overly so in a distracting manner. And I really like the way uh, Capture One has handled the aqua uh, in the sea in the image. Uh, it seems to bring out uh, that colour much, much more than, uh, than Lightroom does. Uh, or, or could manage with much more punch, I think, in, in the aquas, which is important when you're looking at, you know, seascape images. Now, it's easy to see why Adobe Lightroom has become the industry standard in many respects. It's powerful, yes, and with the latest uh, release at the back end of last year with the new masking tools, it's even more powerful again. But besides that, I find it more intuitive and easier to use. Um, than Capture One. Now that may be because I've been using Lightroom for many, many years and I've only really dabbled in Capture One. Or it may be that Adobe Lightroom is an easier application to use. Anyway, am I going to switch over? Am I going to switch from Lightroom to Capture One? Well, yes and no. <laughs> so talk about uh, getting splinters in your bum from sitting on a fence. I think I'll definitely stick with Lightroom for cataloging my images. It seems to be um, uh, an easier way uh, uh, to mirror like my file structure system uh, in Lightroom and, uh, and Finder on my Mac. Uh, and I find things easier then to locate uh, and catalog in, in Lightroom. As for editing though, well, I think I can do it on an image by image basis. What I can certainly see me doing is possibly starting an editing process in Capture One and then moving over to Lightroom to uh, do something else to it or, you know, starting in Lightroom and then going to Capture One and then uh, finishing off probably in Photoshop with things like, you know, dust spot removal and, you know, Border Patrol, that sort of thing. Um, one thing I do like with Capture One is it's the the layering or layers um, where you like select a, la uh, a layer to do a, a job on. It's like a sort of cross, if you like, between Lightroom and Photoshop in that respect. Um, like you can, you know, sort of mask off an area, do what you need to do, and then you can go back to that layer, you know, um, time and again, uh, which seems to be a lot easier than um, than Lightroom. Although with the new masking, um, uh, what's, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, the masking utility, there we are, uh, in Lightroom. Uh, I find that now a lot easier to go go back and make, you know, sort of small, small adjustments to do. So for now, I think what I'm going to do is practice hard on my Capture One uh, skills, if you can call them that. Uh, to explore all its tools and settings, but I'm not going to completely abandon um, Lightroom and uh, certainly not Photoshop anyway. So what I'll do now, as usual, is I will put up a, uh, a couple of images. Uh, I think it's three in total. So three edited with uh, Lightroom, three edited with Capture One. Um, I'll put the um, individual images up first, then I'll put them up side by side. Uh, so see if you can guessed which was uh, processed with which piece of software uh, before uh, before finding out. And of course, you can you can pause the video if you want to uh, study the images in more depth. Now, obviously, I know that, you know, with heavy YouTube compression, you're not seeing, you know, uh, the, the full picture, pardon the pun. Uh, but, um, you know, yeah, 
uh, have, a, have a look at them. Uh, see which ones uh, you prefer now. I'd be interested to know in the comments what editing software you use. Do you use Lightroom? Do you use Capture One? Do you use something like, I don't know, Affinity Photo or one of the other um, uh, apps that seem to have uh, sprung up ever since uh, Adobe brought in its uh, subscription service? Uh, let me know uh, in the comments what you use. Um, and if you use Capture One, um, let me know how you found, you know, perhaps switching to capture one from whatever you were using. Did you find it an easy process or a hard one? Anyway, that is it for this week's video. We will be back next week where I'm going to dive into uh, the contents of my camera bag for 2022. It's going to be a really exciting video. Honestly, it is. Um, I got a new camera bag, which I'm gonna, which I'm gonna show off. Uh, my um, uh, my uh, what's it called? Low Pro. That's right. Uh, was starting to creak at the seams with the GFX in it. So I went out and well, I didn't go out. I stayed in and bought a new camera bag uh, off of the internet. Right. So uh, we will see you next week with that uh, that incredibly, incredibly exciting video. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe, stay well, look after yourselves, your loved ones and your pets. And Dexter and I will see you next Saturday. Bye-bye. Anyway, to answer this burning question, I decided to edit a couple of images using both. Anyway, it's certainly well known that Capture One does a much better job with... I need to look at the lens, not at that. Anyway, to answer this burning question, I decided to edit a couple of images used using... And the latest in this long, illustrious line, of course, is Lightroom versus you can't make this up <laughs>